In this video, we will show you how to continue using Google services by collecting consent with the user-centric CMP. Let's get started. First, you will need to sign up for a user account. Using your Google or Microsoft account can make this even faster and easier. Next, provide some company information. Accept the Terms and Conditions checkbox, then click Finish Setup. To create your first configuration, choose the legal framework you want to comply with, for example, the GDPR, and give your configuration a name. Great job! You have successfully created your first configuration, which is displayed in the overview. Next, click on the configuration to start your CMP setup. User-centric CMP supports dozens of languages, resurfacing options, and Google consent mode. These options and more can be configured in the configuration tab. Next, scan your website to detect the third-party data processing services that collect user data. In the overview, you will find recommended categories, which enable you to add the relevant services to your CMP with just one click. In the Data Processing Services tab, under the Service Settings, you can now find all your added services from your website. You can add additional services, like Google Analytics or Google Ads, from our comprehensive database with over 2,200 data processing service templates. All services can be edited or created for your custom needs. Under the Appearance tab, you can design the look and feel of your CMP. There are extensive customization options to match your website's corporate identity. Under the Content tab, you can define your banner message and all other visible texts on the CMP. Let's complete the setup by implementing the CMP on your website. Simply copy your CMP script tag, go into the code of your website, for example, via your content management system, CMS, and paste the CMP script tag into the head area at the top. Once you have saved and published the changes, the user-centric CMP banner will be displayed to your website visitors. You need to ensure that all third-party tags on your website or in your tag manager are only triggered once you obtain consent from users. To achieve this, adjust your tags or triggers according to our technical documentation, which guides you through this process step-by-step. Step. Now your website's data processing services will only collect data for which consent has been given, a big step towards GDPR compliance on your website. As soon as the CMP is live on your website and the first consents are coming in, it's time to take a look at the CMP's analytics. Get a quick overview or analyze the results in detail. Understand your CMP's performance and user actions to gain better insights for smarter optimization and higher consent rates. Now you are ready to start your user-centric CMP implementation. If you have any questions, our extensive knowledge base and expert support team are here to help.